What's up guys, Tech Talk back here with another video and today I've got a very exciting a one. A new jailbreak was just released for iOS 9.3.5 so last night. So let's get started on how to do this. So what you need to do first is go to tweetboxapp.com and click download app. This is not the actual jailbreak yet. If you've seen my other jailbreak alternative video, you would know that you have to download this app. So then you just click install after you uh, type in your password. And it says profile install. So now you need to go to the Tweakbox app. So you need to go to apps. Then go to Tweakbox apps, originally from Cydia. And then scroll down without clicking any. It gets very frustrating, just like that. See? Because it will just randomly pull you into things if you just like bump it. So until you see this app right here, Phoenix PWN 9.3.5 JV. Click on that. Click install. May take a second to pop up. It should right here though. There, there it is. Okay. So now once this app is installed called Phoenix, so if you click on it, it will say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. So now you need to go to Settings, General, Profiles and Device Management. And then you need to find the profile that this app is in. It should be this one. It's called Funny Safe Inc. Click Trust. Trust. Now, you should be able to go back and open the app. So now once the app has opened, you need to click prepare for jailbreak. You can read the terms and conditions. So, once you have read them, it's going to be kind of hard to see this. Let's see. Well, right here it says proceed with jailbreak. You click that. Then you click begin installation. And then it says use provided offsets or specify custom offsets. You want to press use provided offsets. And then let it do its thing. That is normal to pop up. It says storage almost full. That's normal. Okay, so now it should begin rebooting. Or maybe not. Okay, now it's rebooting. Okay, so now once it is booted up, you should unlock it, type in your password, which I will not Okay guys, sure. so this is actually my third try, or after my third try that I finally got Cydia to load. I had to reinstall the jailbreak three times, which is completely normal. The second time it made me reset it up, but it only made me set up the Wi-Fi password and put in my Apple ID and my password and I logged right in. So let's see what Cydia Now this do. was not the first time opening opening up Cydia. That's why it loaded so quickly. But now you have fully installed Cydia. So now we have all these things that we can do. And you can search whatever. So guys, I also forgot to say this is a semi-untethered jailbreak. Meaning you don't have to reconnect it to the computer to jailbreak it every time. But you have to go into the Phoenix app. And after you restart it, there will be a button down here that clicks, that says kickstart jailbreak. And you need to hit that and it will restart it and the jailbreak will work again. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Have fun with your jailbreak. Thanks for supporting me and please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Peace.